in two decades, no one has ever survived a rematch with me. Tyson Fury just issued a brutal warning to Alexander Usyk and claimed that no one has ever survived against him in a rematch. Meanwhile, Tyson Fury explained that his boxing routine is not part of his work, rather it's his life. And just like he brushes his teeth, his boxing is there with him. It's my life. It's like me coming to the gym and doing a bit of training, whether it be boxing or running or weightlifting or whatever it might be. It's just like going for a shower in the morning or brushing my teeth. It's like a part of my daily essential routine. So I don't see it as work, no, I just see it as me keeping healthy and doing something I love to do. Mm -hmm. Tyson Fury posted a message on Instagram recently telling unified heavyweight champion Alexander Usyk that he made a mistake by not finishing him off last May in their first fight. Now, Fury says he's going to make Usyk feel the wrath on December 21st in their rematch in Riyadh. Fury explained that he is giving the rematch everything he has got and he is not going to change his trainers or corners and blame the defeat on them. Tyson was laser focused and he knows what he must do to win. Um, not much time i know what i've got to do um nothing drastic you know people can say oh i want to change trainers or i'll blame it on my conditioning coach or i'll blame it on the cook or I'll blame it on the mouse next door <laughs> you know i'm not interested in all that same team same everything i know what i gotta do Meanwhile, former boxer Roy Jones Jr. explained the crucial mistake Fury made in his fight with Usyk. Roy Jones said, Why would you go out there and back up against Usyk? He's a small guy. You don't back up against a small guy. If you back up against a small guy, you give them confidence. He gave him confidence, so now look what happened. Tyson Fury actually thought that he won the fight with Usyk because he has been watching boxing his whole life, but the judges' decisions were otherwise. Fury commented that the results are what they are and nobody can change that, but the rematch will be different. I thought I won the fight last time. I give him. At that full fight, me being boxing all my life and watching boxing my whole career, I give him round eight, nine, and ten. And round nine was a 10 8. So that's what I give him out of the fight. But obviously, the judges saw it a bit different. A couple of them did. One of them had me winning. That's what it was. It was close as a. As it, can, cap, as it can be. As it can be. Indeed. Um, didn't get the nod of the night. I'll make it right next time. Furthermore, Roy Jones stated that Usyk's confidence will be through the roof when he fights Fury since he already got the win. Jones commented, This time, the confidence is going to be a lot tougher because Usyk now knows in his head because in the first fight, he didn't know he could put Fury down. Now he knows he can put Fury down. If he goes out there as his normal, methodical Usyk, who is very smart and very methodical in everything he does, he'll beat Fury again. Tyson has something to look out for and a reason to return to the ring since he was defeated by Oleksandr. Fury claimed that in two decades no one has ever survived a rematch with him and Usyk will be the same. Now I've got something to really to return prove. for and here's the interesting fact that in two decades no one has ever survived a rematch with me standing and all of the rematches that I've had with John McDermott, the trilogy with Chisora, the trilogy with Wilder, and I'm going into a rematch of this. I've stopped every one of them and knocked them out. So yeah, I'm looking forward to the challenge. Later on, Fury posted a brutal warning on social media, which said, you had your shot, but couldn't finish the job. Mistake. Now you're about to feel the wrath of a menace. Usyk, Klimas, Krashyuk. And if you're not on good terms with Usyk, then you. Gypsy King 2024 is coming for you. December 21st is mine, me against the world. Incoming 3X heavyweight champ. Meanwhile, Oleksandr Usyk remained calm in his response to Fury's demeaning words on social media by saying, you are very cool, my friend. On the other hand, Fury has posted footage on social media of himself, both in the gym and out running, but is yet to start a full training camp ahead of the rematch. This has sparked concern in some quarters, but the Brit insists he won't be heading into camp for a little while yet, as he slowly plays the build-up to December 21st. In a recent interview, Fury said, I haven't started training yet. I won't go into camp for a good while. I think I've got 13 weeks today until my fight, so I'll probably start training in about 6 weeks for it. I do about 6-7 weeks of training for these fights usually and I'll be ready to rock and roll on the night roll on December 21st come on Tyson Fury says he is leaving nothing to chance in his rematch with Alexander Usyk and has vowed to knock out the unified heavyweight world champion Fury seems disappointed as he said he didn't get the decision in his favor last time so he has to knock out his opponent this time well we do and we've had a few same old shit we won the 12th round though it's all irrelevant 
winning, losing the rounds, whatever. It's all on the dog shit. Uh, 21st of December, i got to put it right. On the other hand, former heavyweight champion Lennox Lewis thinks that Usyk could never have survived against him in his era, but would have done well otherwise. Lewis gave these statements as he has seen Usyk get caught with uppercuts. How do you think Alexander Usyk would have done in your era, the era of Lennox Lewis, Riddick Bowe, Evander Holyfield, Mike Tyson? How do you think he would have done against you and your contemporaries? I would have to compare him to... Um... Evander Holyfield, and I think he would have done very well, very well. I don't think he would have lasted against me because, uh, you know, I throw a mean uppercut in there and I noticed he gets caught with uppercuts, so he wouldn't have been able to stand up to my uppercuts. Despite the judges and most ringside observers agreeing that Usyk deservedly won the first fight on the scorecards, Fury remains adamant he should have earned the decision, but he claims he won't be leaving anything to chance this time. Tyson plans on finishing the bout early, citing his knockout victory over Deontay Wilder in their second fight, having drawn first time round. Tyson commented on a simple strategy to win and said, It's very simple. I've just got to knock a f***er out, and I've made no secret of it. I think I outboxed him last time, and I'm sure I got the decision, but I'm not going in there for a decision this time. I remember I boxed really well in Wilder 1, and I didn't get the decision. I did the same the other night when I boxed three or four months ago. Tyson Fury was adamant at knocking out Oleksandr Usyk in their second fight. In Wilder 2, I went to knock out and we all know what happened in Usyk 2 I'm going to knock her out furthermore Lennox Lewis discussed what Tyson Fury really needs to do to avenge his rematch against Alexander Usyk also a few matter a matter of a few months away from the rematch of the proposed rematch what does Tyson Fury need to do in the rematch that he potentially didn't do first time around if he's going to avenge that loss uh, I think he needs to take the fight a lot serious um, you know secure his job I, I like him a little heavier um, whether you know he feels that works for him or not but you know i would like him a little heavier and you know working behind the jab legendary boxing trainer teddy atlas advised tyson fury on specific adjustments needed to defeat Usyk in the rematch he noted that fury should have utilized his uppercut more effectively during the fight atlas acknowledged fury's solid use of the jab but emphasized that he didn't capitalize on the opportunities it created for his right hand essentially atlas believed fury could have been more assertive and maximize the impact of his jab by following through with stronger more strategic punches three Look, there, there's things that he, he maybe could have used the uppercut more because it was very effective in that sixth round. Maybe he could have used it throughout the fight a little more, a little more, maybe. Um, you know, maybe there's things that he could have just added off of controlling him with the jab. I have a saying, you set the table with the jab and you eat with the right hand, right? Maybe he could have, you know, could have went to the refrigerator a little more and brought out a few... Oh, to wherever the stock box is, where, wherever he keeps the right hand and brought them out with the jab a little more. Maybe he could have done that because he was definitely doing well with the jab. Uh, he was setting the table. Maybe he could have ate a little more. Three-weight world champion and defensive master Shakur Stevenson backed the bigger man when he said that Fury may win in the rematch. He stated, I got Fury in the rematch. Whoever want to bet some bread on it hit my line. As long as he in dog shape, it's gone. Be easy. Usyk is one of the greatest I ever seen, to be honest. But if Tyson Fury is in tip-top shape and locked in, I got him for sure. Boxing promoter Eddie Hearn emphasized that Tyson Fury and Oleksandr Usyk displayed a tremendous fight, but Usyk did something something special to win his match the first time. Everyone scored it a little bit differently. Like I had Fury in control after six rounds. Not everyone did. Um, and then obviously for me, Usyk dominated the fight on the back end. Um, I thought it was an incredible performance. I thought both guys boxed very, very well. But obviously Usyk did that something special. Meanwhile, Eddie Hearn made his comments on Fury's mindset going into the rematch with Usyk. Hearn stated that Tyson Fury is not going to take his loss so lightly. Hearn commented, Fury will really struggle to deal with this. He's a winner, and he's never lost before. It's the first defeat of his career, and he's a happy-go-lucky guy, and he'll give it the big one. But deep down, there'll be dark times, and there will be dark nights. Eddie further commented that he favors Oleksandr Usyk ever so slightly in his rematch. A favorite in a rematch, but Tyson Fury can definitely win that fight. You know, a lot depends on physically what that fight took out of both men. Like Usyk was exhausted after that fight, and Fury took a lot of punishment. 
in the ninth round as well. So very good fight, a uh, very competitive fight, one that both men can win, but I think... Hearn recently made some contradictory statements regarding his prediction for the rematch and emphasized that Tyson Fury will definitely become victorious against Usyk the next time they fight. Eddie stated, Team Fury believes Tyson will be in a much better place and in condition for this rematch. I've never bet against Tyson Fury other than the last Usyk fight. I think he can do it. I really do. On the other hand, Alexander Usyk belittled Tyson Fury by nicknaming him as Greedy Belly and said that he should continue training because he is well prepared for the rematch. Hey, my friend Greedy Belly, continue training. I'm rest, brother. I know you hard work. It's good. Appreciate it. Thank you so much, Greedy Belly. You my friend. You are my friend. Furthermore, Usyk commented that he will be resuming his training camp to defeat Tyson Fury once and for all. Yeah, I go, I now, in my, uh, training camp tomorrow, I'm back. My training camp continue prepare. Meanwhile, Tyson Fury is prepared to knock out Oleksandr Usyk ahead of their rematch, and he showed a video of him running with his British lads. Just finished a lovely little run in the bay with the lads. Working away, chipping away nicely. December 21st, who set you on notice? Come on! Meanwhile, Derek Chisora has been in the ring with both Tyson Fury and Oleksandr Usyk. Chisora said that Fury wasn't his 100% in the first fight with Usyk, but things may change. I was there. You know, I, 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 there's, there's two things you have to understand. When Tyson fights, he fights for himself. When Usyk fights, he fights for his country. Fights for his country. Yeah, you understand? Mm. Yeah. Um, Tyson, I don't think Tyson was 100% when he walked in that ring. For what reason? Well, mentally for, or physically? I mean, because he wasn't because he had a massive cut. He didn't want to get five, ten grand for missing, ten million for missing the fight. Derek revealed that Fury was severely underprepared and he was literally marking around in the first four or five rounds. Chisora later commented that Tyson Fury was under pressure and underconfident, which led to his loss. Chisora explained how the fight looked because Fury wasn't paying attention to his dad or coach. I think Usyk stops him this time. Him and Sugar Hill Steward, that relationship is kind of dying down because when they got together, they were listening to each other. They were all in panic. Derek Chisora commented that Alexander has been beating all the British boxers from Anthony Joshua to Daniel Dubois and Fury. Derek insisted that Usyk will beat Tyson Fury once again because he is so athletic. Yeah, you know, we have to give a shout to Usyk. You know, he actually beat my backside. He beat AJ twice. He beat Daniel Dubois and he beat Fury. Do you, do you understand? He's, he's beating up all the British boys. He gave us a whoop back at <laughs> whoop ass basically. Mm. Um, is he gonna do it again? I think he might do it again. What is he like to face up to? He's, I mean, the prob what are the problems that he gives you? He moves a lot and he's very fit. He's the only guy I've when they were promoting the fight with AJ, the second one. He arrived in London and he went to Olympic swimming pool and he swam for six hours nonstop. Previously, Derek Chisora backed his friend Anthony Joshua to knock both Fury and Usyk out, crediting his link-up with former Fury coach Ben Davison as the catalyst. Chisora added, AJ will knock Fury out in six rounds, and he will stop Usyk in round four. I'm telling you now, because now he's got the right dancing partner, his trainer. That guy hasn't stopped watching the two tapes of him fighting Usyk. Because he wants that fight badly, he wants the rematch. He wants Usyk to win the fight with Fury. The result was sadly obvious when Anthony Joshua lost to Usyk once again. In addition, Teddy Atlas commented that Usyk always finds a way to win no matter how tough the challenge is. Usyk has always done that. He that's a talent. That's that's a special quality. He finds a way to win. Just just finds a way. And and um that was that was obviously uh, on display there that he did that. On the other hand, Mike Tyson has given advice to Tyson Fury ahead of his rematch against Alexander Usyk. Mike advised Fury to be more serious in the next fight. Do you think Tyson Fury could avenge Usyk? Yeah. Any particular advice for him? Take it serious. 
Heavyweight contender Martin Bacole is aiming to set up a shot at the winner of the Oleksandr Usyk vs Tyson Fury rematch after his victory over Jared Anderson in Los Angeles. Bacole believes the victor of that fight will be Fury. Over the years, Bacole has sparred a host of the world's top heavyweights, including both Fury and Usyk, as well as Anthony Joshua and Daniel Dubois. Fury was the one who made the best impression on him. The only person I'm impressed with is Tyson Fury. He's a big guy, he moves a lot, he moves his head, Usyk a little bit. Usyk I sparred in a small ring, so I always gave him a hard time. Oh, if you could see his face when he sparred me, it's focused, because I gave him a hard time under pressure all the time Tyson Fury we sparred in a big ring relaxed very good sparring to watch furthermore Tyson Fury gave both Oleksandr Usyk and Daniel Dubois a very brutal message he said that he is focused on winning the fight with Usyk and getting all the belts back and then he is coming for Daniel Dubois and will win his belt too I've got I've got to fight my man I'm not me and I'm gonna take all my belts back yep. once again Minus Guarantee the you. Minus the IBS. Yeah, I'll get that back as well you after uh, when I when I fight Usyk in December and beat him, I'll rain all the belts that I should never have lost, and then I'll fight the other the Dubois and take that off him as well. Additionally, Alexander Usyk posted a message on social media to chubby Tyson Fury, encouraging him to work on his fitness by running to prepare for their rematch in December. Put a mask on and take a run, going after just the little guys, huh? What's up, my chubby buddy? I hope you are all right. Will Tyson Fury win or will Usyk remain triumphant? We would love to hear your thoughts. Let us know in the comments section below and subscribe for more content like this.